<laughs> yes. Could you compare the importance of your nonfiction and your fiction and how your nonfiction has affected your, your fiction writing? Nonfiction. Uh, she, she asked me to compare uh, writing fiction and nonfiction and how nonfiction affects fiction. Um, as far as um, I, I have always uh, taken writing nonfiction just as seriously as writing fiction, and in many ways, it's harder for me because I can't make it up. You know, it's just there. You know. This intractable material that has to be somehow rendered. Um, the way, one way in which it, the, the main way in which nonfiction has affected my fiction is that nonfiction forces me into repertorial situations where I very often am exposed to things that turn up later in fiction. For example, in this book, a lot of the uh, feeling of the of, the, of what I call the San Francisco part of the book, which is the next part of the book. A lot of the feeling in that part around this radical lawyer came out of no, no incidents, no specific incidents, but the feeling came out of when I was reporting a lot up here and I did a piece on the Panthers and a piece on, on, right here during the strike in 68 and um, various and then I was here in 67 in the hate. Um, all of that in a way, it just shows up in tiny ways. It just makes me easy enough to say to have Leonard, who was the husband at one point, talking about the hate to visit Darrow Coalition. Um, well, that isn't important. And another time he says something like, um, he's talking on the phone to a client and he says, uh, I don't want any of that boom boom shit at the hearing. Well, I wonder when have I gone to a Panther hearing, you know, and everybody's walking around outside saying, you know, that boom boom thing. Um, uh, so it's just little stuff like that that you pick up and it turns up later. Yeah. If you lived a more active life, it wouldn't matter. You wouldn't have to go out and report. I mean, yeah. Yes. Am I ever inspired by joy? I I I like um, writing, but I don't think it's a lot of fun. Um, I mean, I've never, I've never experienced, I mean, I think when you're writing a book, you write it in a kind of um, dread that it's not going to be as, you know it's not going to be as good as you hoped it would be. There's a kind of, uh, there is a kind of joy that takes over toward the end, but it's too, it's right on the edge of, not being joy, it's right on the edge of something else. I don't know, when, when you say, I mean, actually, I, I'm always surprised by those pieces that describe me as depressive, because actually I'm very cheerful and happy, and, you know, look out at, you know, I have, take joy in a lot of uh, perfectly ordinary domestic things. Uh, uh, my baby, well, she's 11 now, but, uh, uh, Getting uh, dinner, uh, you know, I, building the fire. I really like building the fire. All this stuff, but um, it doesn't. This book seems to me to be full of joy. It's just, it's just not happy, but it does have joy, you know. 